Greetings YouTube. Today we're talking about masks because in my life masks are still a thing. Um, as of today, which is November 5th, masks are still part of my daily life. At work I wear them, I have to wear them, um, and I wear the Tommy Copper Gators at work, which I quite like because they have a nose piece, much like this one, they're double layered fabric like this one, and they come down, they don't put any stress on my ears. When I'm at work for eight hours a day, I don't want to wear over the ear style um, masks. On my weekends, when I'm only wearing a mask for like, you know, maybe a half an hour at a stretch, I don't mind wearing over the ears that have, you know, an elastic. Uh, I have not actually t tried the tying behind the head because I, I wear this a lot <laughs> and tying things is not something I want to have to do. So over the ear hooks with elastics work a heck of a lot better. Um, and I recently decided that I wanted to get more masks. So I went back to the same company I had bought the last ones at that I really liked. And that is the Uncommon Closet LLC, which has an Etsy shop. Now, the previous masks I had were pleated. Um, and I have three of those. I have one that says Black Lives Matter, one that says Black Trans Lives Matter, and one that says Fuck Racism. Um, those two of those are in the wash at the moment. Uh, and I'll definitely be still put, putting the fuck racism in my rotation because I happen to really like that one. But I decided to try their fitted masks rather than their pleated masks. I still went with the over-the-ear elastics. Again, they do have the tying variety if you would like to own those as well. And they have, um, I believe they have these without a metal insert here, if that's what you want. I like the metal little thing so I can form fit it to my nose. I appreciate that. Um, and these are double fabric, and they have a pocket inside if you'd like to put in a filter. I am not using a filter. I don't feel any need. I feel that the double double layer of fabric is quite sufficient for what I find myself in, the environments I find myself in. And uh, the uh, blow test is quite sufficient. If you, can, if you can't, like, move a candle at all from through your mask, then your mask is, is, is doing its job. Um, if you look, if you are wearing a type of gator that, or a mask you can blow through, then the mask is not providing enough protection for people around you or yourself, because you do get protection for yourself as well as for other people. Um, so I've worn these for about two weeks now. So before I, before I, um, did a review and I've got two of them. I have this one, whoop, this one. Why are we doing that wrong? Sorry. <laughs> I, I do not do well with mirrored images. Uh, this one, which just says, uh, Black Trans Lives Matter, and I have one that says Black Lives Matter as well. The fuck racism was sadly not available in uh, this type of mask. Um, and I got two masks, which got me free shipping, which is always nice. And they uh, arrived in a timely manner. In fact, sh in a shorter period of time than the uh, shipment uh, said they would. They were sh they were showed up on a full day ahead of the minimum shipping date. It was like they were going to show up um, between two different days and... Uh, um, they showed up a full day ahead of the minimum, so I thought that was quite nice. Uh, I'm very happy with them. They're available in a plethora of colors, both in colors of um, the fabric as well as uh, colors of the ink. I mean, uh, not the ink, the, the thread, because this is actually embroidered into the fabric, which is something I really appreciate, having something that I know is not going to peel off when I'm washing them. Uh, even though I do, when I do wash my mask, I put them into a mesh bag so that they're not exposed to the full, you know, fierce tumbling that the other pieces of clothing in the, in the wash are. And they're not going to be exposed to, like, uh, zippers on, on a piece of clothing, like on a sweatshirt or on a pair of jeans or something. So that reduces the chances that they will be abraded in any way. So that's why I recommend using mesh bags for a lot of delicate things or semi-delicate things. Like when I wash this, I, uh, I put this in the mesh bag. In fact, it'll be washed today. Um, and, uh, for, mostly because it means that the Velcro won't stick to stuff. And, uh, so yeah, I do take care of my, my masks when I'm washing them and I air dry them. I don't, I don't, I don't, I recommend, um, uh, uh, putting these into a dryer. They don't take very long to dry, even though they are fabric. Um, and I appreciate that this, and they're, they're a nice fabric, nice cotton. They're quite comfortable. Um, they don't, they're not overly sweaty. Yes, you're wearing a mask. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, and as you can see, you know, my breathing is 
probably restricted slightly in the sense that I'm not getting as much, you know, I'm filtering my air through the mask, but not enough to be bothered by it. And I very much enjoy the fact that I am protecting the people around me, which is, uh, which is a good thing. Again, I find these very comfortable. Their uh, support is really nice. And I got a nice little uh, note in my, uh, in my, uh, this is, there you go. I can call them a closet so you can freeze this. And uh, they sent me a nice little message here, and uh, which said that my name on there. And uh, it's kind of funny because the penman penmanship on this is not much better than mine, which made me smile. Um, and then they gave me a little, uh, little thank you sticker, and it says, uh, no justice, no peace, uh, team uh, on UC for Uncommon Closet. I will not show you this, however, because it's got my name and pertinent information on it. I don't, really don't want to spread that around. I don't, I don't mind sharing this information. They are a business. I am not. Um, so I definitely recommend you check out their uh, site. I'm going to be keeping that one. This one will, will get shredded. Um, and I, I thoroughly support, like supporting small businesses and, you know, made here in America kind of thing. And I appreciate that. I'm not having to worry about supply chains. <laughs> this is not a supply chain issue. This is just a very comfortable, breathable mask that does its job. It's comfortable, comes in a plethora of colors and often it's also available in patterns as well as solids. I just happen to like solids. Uh, it, the purple lavender is my favorite color. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that they're, um, Embroidery is 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 in fact embroidery, not just kind of you know so I mean uh, ironed on to the to the material. I I, I like that permanent the uh, permanent aspect about it. So get yourself a mask, and if you're going to get going and you want a nice slogan on it, go out there and look up Uncommon Closet. I don't think you'll be disappointed.